Eddie, let's talk about the main event, Alexander Usyk versus Anthony Joshua. I spoke to Anthony yesterday. He seems fired up now. He seems really, really fired up. More fired up than I've ever seen him before. Well, he's definitely in a much better place than he was in the first fight. You know, first fight, he was relaxed. Um, probably a little bit unsure about the wizardry of Usyk. Everyone talks about him. Oh, this guy is so good. His feet are so good. And, and, and I think sometimes you can confuse yourself. And, and I think his game plan was wrong going into the first fight. I don't think he had a lot of confidence. Sharing those 12 rounds and having a better camp, a better strategy, I think he's a lot more confident going into this fight. Also understands how difficult the task is, but looking very strong and I think he's going to fight a much more aggressive fight tonight, which is certainly needed. You've got about five minutes on the bell that until we leave here to go to the ring. Okay. Don't say six minutes past eight, very early. Shit. Okay. Last one, all the best stops. So you can stay in here now. Feel good, baby. About to get that W. I'm gonna sock the world. Somebody's about to get these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the king of Nova Sports City here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And we begin tonight with a historic first female bout in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Weather. Yes. Oh. 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 
good shot. You saw it there. You know, it was a big right hand. She come out fast. And uh, time to move on now. I think championship rounds, 10 rounds next. And look for that world title in 2023. I guess that's Joshua's room, yeah? Uh, All right. Me. Wow. Can you translate? Just yeah. say, I appreciate the fight and um, and uh, I know all the bullshit it took for her to get here. So thank you very much for the fight. And if you accept from me, I want to give you my top. Okay. If you accept from me, yeah? So wear it in Domin... Wear it. Tell her to wear it back on. Uh, I would be honoured if she wore it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hang it out and move it up. John Jale. Yo. Ready? Ready. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go, Jim. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Popeye going. This guy really doing it. Debut. That's my sponsor, Fighter Crusher Nuts Peanut Butter, represented right there. He just made history, carved his name in the history books tonight. I feel great. I'm very excited. It's uh, going to be a spectacular event. We have to see, can AJ do it again like he did before in uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, or will Usyk uh, just prevail like, like he did in the last fight? It's going to be interesting. You're trying to put a put a right hand together that's gonna knock him out the park. You don't gotta knock him out the park. You just gotta start touching him. That's all I need. Start touching him. Shit happens when you start touching people.
I won that fight. David Irvin, 96, 94, Richard Rivera. Juan Carlos Panayo, 96, 94, for Badu Chan. And Daniel had the wheel scores this now 96 to 94 for your winner by split decision. I felt like I felt a hell of a fight. I felt like I won nine out of the 10 rounds. And I mean, 10 out of 10 in my opinion. And I felt like I did enough to win. I'm a little hurt because I believed in the judging system. I know I came out here with all the odds against me, but I believe that, you know, boxing will be true to, to his victory. You know, truth will tell in the ring. I trained hard for that. I, I know I, I threw more punches, I landed more, and I did enough for the victory and, and you know, it's just a little heartbreaking because, you know, they say, you know, you can do everything right, do everything your coach say, eat the right thing, go to bed early, train hard, and still come up a little short. So I am a little hurt right now. The crowd was definitely screaming my name. The crowd thought I won. There was a lot of people in the crowd screaming. They thought I got robbed, you know, but unfortunately, I don't need the crowd to think I won. I need the judges to. Got it. I got it. You got it. And I got it. Oh, go. See it again. Hold it. Twice. Twice. Put it in my hood. Put
Hey, come on, champ, let's go. China power. Yeah, come power. I told y'all about the fucking judges before. I told you about those two Polish judges. Even the American judge. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Hello, 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 What do you think? What do you think, champ? What do you think? Thank Who won? You see the fight. Oh, yeah. Man, you got the decision, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Bye bye. See you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. From Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, with his head trainer, former world champion Robert Garcia, wearing black and officially weighing in at 110.9 kilos or 254 and a half pounds. He captured Olympic gold and since becoming a professional, his record stands at an excellent 26 fights. 24 victories, including 22 big wins by knockout. 
He has two defeats, and he is the fighting pride of London, England, and the United Kingdom. The former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, AJ. Standing with his trainer, Yuri Kachenko, wearing the colors of Ukraine, white, blue, and yellow. Official weight, 100.5 kilograms, or 221 and one half pounds. This Olympic gold medal champion now has a perfect record as a professional. 19 fights, 19 victories, 13 wins by knockout, fighting for and representing the sovereign nation of Ukraine, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, the reigning, defending, undefeated, unified, heavyweight champion of the world,
hit them. Come on. You fucking go. Let's go. Maybe do it now. Let's go. Got what they want. Good fight, but you know, uh, the little guy, the little guy won. How? One fifteen, one thirteen for Anthony. I don't understand it. How? No, but you, for now, I'm like anybody show, else in the no, You show a good boxing. Fuck that shit. Emotional. I thought Usyk won the fight. I felt Joshua probably could have done a little bit more early on, but you know, a tremendous performance. And you know, all credit to Usyk, who is simply another class amongst heavyweights, I think. Very difficult to beat and a great fighter. When we spoke, you said you wanted to put on a heroic performance and in round nine. I think everybody in this room would agree that you did. Would you say you're proud of yourself this time around? You feel like you get your all and you left it all in the ring? Am I proud of myself? Uh, really, really hard for me to say I'm proud of myself. I don't feel anything. I'm just, well, I'm upset, really, like, deep down in my heart. <coughs> Oh, fuck, you know. Oh, fuck, you know. Oh, 